Right. So, got some stuff from the bus show the other day. You can see I got two more caterons. They're a little froze up, but I'll probably end up buying new uh, throttle plates anyways for them. But, you know, I got the bodies and all that. I can hopefully get those all cleaned up and rebuild them. And I got myself a bug pack hideout um, muffler set up here. I didn't realize when I bought it, but the little brackets broke off. That's no big deal. I can weld another one on there. I've always liked these. These are nice and quiet. And, uh, it's got a deep, mellow sound to it, you know. The <clears throat> A1s and those Mondo mufflers and stuff, those are cool, but they're a little too loud for my taste. I'm getting old. And then, the thing I really liked was, uh, the guy said they're new old stock. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't really looked at them too well. But, uh, I did look inside, and they're 83s. You can usually tell, 83, 1500, have a little groove right here. Not a groove for a uh, ceiling ring like the 77s, but they're just thicker there for some reason, right at the top flange. Every 1500 I've took apart has always had that. So, it's kind of cool and interesting. I got a you know, full set and the wrist pins down here. You know, he said they're new old stock. That's still wrapped up, so, you know, we'll see. I'm going to tear them all in there. But I'll probably end up building a 1500. I always wanted a hot rod 1500. And I'll probably use the engine out of the uh, 63 here. Take that thing apart. And I know it kind of seems backwards. It's already a 1600. But go and uh, make that into a 1500. Because that's what I've always wanted a hot rod 1500 after I first got my... Uh, the How to Hot Rod VW book, and they had the uh, 1500 single port with all the bolt ons, and it had like 77 horse. So, <clears throat> it's probably what I'll do is build that for this car. It's kind of more what I want for it anyway. You know, I would like to get maybe a 2200 in there, 2275 or 2332 one day, but for now, you know, it's a cruiser right now, so that's what it needs to have until I get another gearbox. Which that will be coming up one day soon here. It's starting to howl. But I got all this stuff soaking. Figured I'd show people out there what, what little treasures you can find out there. You know, I bought the first set there for 20 bucks. And this one's really about the only usable one. And that's the only usable manifold. The, the other manifold. It was a doom buggy guy. So I think he hit a tree. He whacked it off at the base there. And, uh,. You know, I'm thinking they lifted it or hit something with the carburetor because they hang out and he had a whole bunch of doom buggy stuff, doom buggy exhaust. Everything was doom buggy related. So, and then uh, this is the other carburetor from that set and it's frozen solid. It was sitting under water. Everything that guy had was sitting under water. But still, I can use parts off it. I need this adjuster, plastic adjuster nut for mine set and you know I can use the spring and all that stuff so it's hardware for 20 bucks couldn't beat it paid a little more for these I think I paid about 40 for this set but they're both free I just gotta you know get everything taken apart and cleaned out and put them in ultrasonic cleaner or something and get them cleaned out plus they got manifolds I won't use those though but you know sell them at a show for five bucks or something I'm sure somebody out there thinks they're neat but that's about it. 1500 pistons. The hideout muffler. I've been on the search for one of those at a reasonable price. Didn't really care if it's ceramic coated, but that one's ceramic coated. So that kind of was a bonus. I did notice they cut the tip off just a little bit. It doesn't have that little turn down down there. But I'm kind of wondering how it'll fit up anyways. Because I got the uh, mud flaps. So, I may have a problem there anyway. You know, right around there is about where it may sit. So, somewhere like that. It may just clear. You know, if I have to, I can figure out probably how to space the mud flap out a little farther. But, you know, that's about maybe a little over. You know, 
I have to modify it. That's obviously not going to be a problem. And you can see my doom buggy header that I've modified here. You know, one of those tri mills to fit underneath. For. Oh, I don't even know where I put it. But I was going to go turbo on that one. And. I don't know. Just kind of chickening out on that idea. So. I don't even know where I put it. It's off a diesel and uh, it's not a Ray J or anything like that. It's an old, off an old Volvo diesel. And I'm kind of thinking, there it is. You know, that's probably not going to work too well. You know, diesels usually boost a lot higher than a you know, gas engine. So, But I may still try and put it on there and blow through a set of Webers or something like that. I was going to do a draw through. Now I'm thinking I'm just going to do a blow through. Be about the same price. By the time I'm done with it, if I go on the cheap side, boost for reference the uh, fuel pump. But that's my little scores from the car show there. Got an old junk case here. I'm gonna try and do something with. Need to get a crank, and I got a set of rods, and Ben's got a crankshaft for me. So try and put that together and just build a stalker out of it. It's nice to have a little spare motor just in case you need it. You know, and that's probably what that one would be. Just a little spare in case it would break down. And then I got another base and assembly. That's why I actually bought some of those is just, you know, so I'd have parts to complete this one because this one's not so bad, you know, but it's just they stripped it all out. You know, it's got the jets and the main jet in it still, but it doesn't have anything else. So figured I could uh take this housing if one of those housings is bad switch all the parts out and get my you know the little top like the tops they don't sell the tops even the caddyshack can't get you a top he may be able to call them and he may have one but you know they list it on their website that they don't sell them you know which i kind of found a little weird you know he's obviously taking uh he's the only guy you can get the 44s from without any hassle and you know what he's obviously doing is because they don't sell the 44 butterflies but he sells them on the website so he must be taking 44 brand new 44s taking the the butterflies off and replace them with 40s and sell them selling them separate you know you'd think you'd uh probably get in the market of doing that for the top since you can't get those but then he'd be stuck with a carburetor bottom he can't get rid of so you know to each their own but you know i got a scat linkage to go with them. The only thing I'm missing is the arms. And uh, Ben has a set of arms somewhere. I'll probably uh, steal a set off him. But I got the rods. I got the center pool. You know. So that would make that all work. But I figured I'd just show people what little score I got there. And you know, there's some pretty good deals there at the show. I didn't really take pictures of the swap meet. But um, uh, took some pictures and made a video for the uh, car show stuff, you know, and, uh, you know, I really like what they're doing with NoDo. They're keeping the uh, swap meet free. You know, they charge the new parts vendors, and, uh, you know, it kind of sucks if you're a new parts vendor, you know, you got to pay, but they always got to pay regardless, and, you know, Triangle's there, they're doing really good, and there's a whole bunch of stuff I bought from Triangle to put that car together. And uh, if you're in Orlando area, I definitely recommend them guys. So, you know, go out and support them. Go support your local Volkswagen shop, you know, because uh, those guys are just trying to make a living. I know people will get all outrageous when they see a $5 difference in internet price and, you know, the price at the local shop. But they don't understand, you know, they had the, that shop in Orlando had to ship it all the way from California and they get chewed with the shipping. So... They got to make a few dollars here and there. But that's about it. I got to get going. The little man's starting to cry. He's waking up for his nap. See y'all later.